Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I want to show you how I transform this bedroom storage space into a beautiful home office for my wife. The before and how we got to after. You won't want to miss right here at my take on home and garden. Guys, hey, here we are again, back in the old office room. You remember, it was our Christmas storage. And as you move through life and things change, you have to slowly get it to where you want to be. Here's the old son's bedroom, turn storage room, and a personal office for Angela to work in. So this had to change for her sake. You know, we wanted it open and proper and it's quite a change. Now I've modified the garage and we've got some new baker's racks to get all of this out of this room. Guess who's been working on that? Speaking of working, here we are on the original floor that I had put in a couple years back. It is now, you know, overdue for renovation and taking the old hanging nails and hardware out of the wall, filling holes with the plaster, and you don't even know how many you have until you get work on it. I've got a couple of tricks and tips. Look how many <laughs> dimples, dings, and nail holes and so on. We want to get that right. Here's the uh, original vinyl floor that I put in. And now I'm going to go right over it. I'm going to take care of some squeaks and noise problems and I'm going over it with this Luan underlayment first. I like to start in the biggest area and then do my cuts last, the smaller cuts. And this just buttoned this floor up so sweet. Now this is so important, the sponging of the new plaster work to smooth that all out. And then here is your spray on orange peel, which is a t light texture so that when you paint now, it's going to match. Initially, I like to paint over the raw plaster so that soaks up the first coat. Then I'm going to go over the whole thing again. And look how sweet and pro this come out. Now, it ought to be pro. I painted for 40 years. <laughs> Here we are where I got some screws down in deep into a squeaky floor problem that was driving us nuts all through the middle. And here I'm doing my victory joy dance <laughs> as usual because I'm all done. And beat to the music, happy as a clam. Now here's the under coating foam pad and vapor barrier and I'm telling you you gotta have it here's the tongue and groove flooring and this color is called tavern oak that was from Lowe's now Angela has been on Facebook marketplace 
looking for a desk that would meet her needs and be good enough. We didn't want just a modern flat desk, can you imagine? She found this and these, you can still find this brand new, all wood, for $3,000 today. She found it for $300, and we got the guy down to $200, and I went, and I had to make a little trip with my son's help, and we picked this up. It comes in three pieces, left, right, bottom, and then the hutch top, you can tell and a bigger, more expensive office chair than what she had came with it, with the wood base, and it is incredible. Now, you're gonna get scratches and you're gonna have to clean, and that's what I'm doing here. And I touched up and polished this whole thing. And I wanna show you the quality in a piece of furniture, the best quality is a dovetail joining like this with real wood and reinforced bottoms. So what a buy. Those deals are out there if you take the time to look. And of course you have to have the means to go pick them up. Here is some of the work I had to do and clean all our collection of vintage and some antique porcelain in the colonial style. Really sweet. And I'm using a little brush to get in between, under the arms, between the toes and everything. <laughs> Here, with a nice hot soapy water Back to the desk, I like to show my favorite touch-up items and the old English, and there's several colors, of course. There's a form bees that's real good, and then these touch-up pens, Guardsmen, there's other brands. This is a good one. And they will take care of rub spots and scratches for you. But I even had to go to a black felt marker for the tough spots that didn't want to cover. This particular piece of furniture had black highlights on the edging and in the face of the work. So it, it really matched and work, worked out nice. So I detailed this whole thing and then gave it a polish. Now when we went to Nicole's Beach Street Mall, Angela found a beautiful piece of artwork of the Victorian ladies. She had had the two bigger ovals here and then found four more online and I had to touch up those frames as well. But they look fantastic now wiping the glass and then there's glass shelves inside and here I want to show the gallery wall we'll do a spin around here in a second and we're going to show where the painting came from that's going to go in her office if you remember this is how it, it was laid out and there's the wonderful garden girl and the flowers there so I had to move and change those to get this to where it's supposed to go eventually we're finally getting to do it here again the big fruit painting that came from the dining area this has been waiting for this change and now here that change is I had it planned for quite some time, moved the little fruit painting down to where the girl was and put this one here and I knew of course it would all fit and work. 
quite a project by yourself. Speaking of by yourself, I like to, when there's a painting on a wire, I like two screws in the wall, reinforced. You get that far one on the wire first while well, you can get your arm in there, like you see I'm doing, and you'll, you'll have it made. Now I'm laying out for where I want to put the other art and balance it. I always measure everything out and I'll have a level to check. So here's her first original bigger ones and then the wonderful Victorian mirror she had that was in the bathroom. We want to get that in here. A nice number eight finishing nail or screw On almost a 45 down angle, I like to use, and I'll tell you, it's not going anywhere. Again, on a wire. So I'm going to measure from the corner over, make sure that's centered. Here, a floral arrangement by Jeff <laughs> for Angela's desk to match. In that wonderful Victorian vase, here's the queen setting up her wonderful new desk. And she was so happy and, and just had a blast putting that together. It took a few hours. Here I want to show what we accomplished as well making this move. I got to thin out where she had her porcelain jewelry boxes mixed with her perfume bottles and it was getting to be a little bit much. Now where the porcelain items were we have all this room now for her beautiful pink specialty pieces. There's our wedding topper. <laughs> it's so sweet. And the beautiful various Bavarian and Asian and so on porcelain jewelry boxes and things from friends and subscribers. So it really freed up that space. Here's another look at how the art worked as I made my changes and centered those. And I love how that come out. Fruit painting finally has its home. You see the spacing. I'm real fussy about it. And it just come out, I think, divine. So I wanted to show that as well. Here is our reveal of the whole room. You might remember that gorgeous Victorian vase or even pre-Victorian, we had to make a trip to Hobby Lobby and we hit these storage boxes and cases and at 50% off, Angela found these magazine and folder holder bins on Amazon. And of course, we'll link everything below the video. Here's her printer. Here's the cutest basket with her sewing machine and hoops and some parts and pieces. Then she picked out these curtains for her new office. 
on Amazon. That link will be there as well. Real pretty. And that is a grommet rod application. Little Bavarian shelf I put in for and a wonderful piece of cranberry from my mother. That goes way back then. Here's, she's so proud of her little women's prints here and they are lithograph prints from La Mode Illustre which was a French magazine during the 1800s into 1900s and it featured hand colored engravings and showcased the latest Victorian styles and you can see the different fashions through time. Here's her new chair cover in peach and this has been her office chair for four years so it had some cracks and crimps and a couple of imperfections so she wanted to take care of that and this is what she come up with and it fits really nice it's quite nice and more color coordinated also a new carpet wonderful carpet she found on Amazon and it is that tight dense thin washable carpet we wanted to protect the floor here from the chair but we didn't want a piece of you know that black plastic or clear plastic here I'm showing how tight and thin this is and it feels great on your feet and it, it's worked really well we tucked it under the legs of the desk so it doesn't move. And look how this worked out for her decor. We're pretty proud of it. She's happier and of course she deserved it all while she's working on the videos and she can feel more like a lady with all the beautiful <laughs> all this beauty right around her and boy we gotta show that store on Etsy <laughs> my take on a vintage shop Lots of new goodies going in there. There it is, you can read it. Now, Janet, you can see your calendar is on a bulletin board now, all the beautiful Victorian pieces. And then, of course, people that sent us things, they can see them in the collection here. friends and fans of wonderful little gifts to add to the collection. You see I've got them grouped in different ways. Victorian shoes, colonial musicians, And I know Doi can see her piano piece she sent Angela. Love the Bavarian pieces. Japanese, occupied Japan, all kinds of different. That's the ceiling fan in that little plate. <laughs> Love the coaches. And then here's that Asian Yadro look. 
but it's not Yadro. It's a, their take or variation on it. More colonials. And the spoiled girl has eight drawers on top, all kinds of drawers on the bottom. Here's a needlepoint chair we picked up in upstate New York years ago, and it just fits perfect. I see that it needs a little touch up on the wood. And here's her wonderful La Mode Illustre that she just found at Nicole's. We'll get that last pan in for you. And guys, I think you'll agree how it all coordinated and just looks so cozy and comfortable and down to earth at the same time. Also in this room, you know, we're going to have our store. You can see it's all boxed up. That's some of it. The closet's full too. You might see in a still. Ready to ship, guys. <laughs> Check out that store. Help us stay here for you. <laughs> and we hope you enjoyed our video today. Take care. And we'll see you in the next amazing off the chain incredible decorator and collector video.